The Periodic Table, a brief introduction. The periodic table is the building blocks of life. It is the organizer of everything that is used to sustain life on Earth. Let's take a close look at the table. First, we have the metals section. Next, we have the non-metals. Although smaller in number compared to the metals, these elements are equally important. Let's get more specific. These are the metalloids, which are considered to be both a metal and non-metal because they contain some of the characteristics of metals and non-metals such as conductivity of metals and low boiling points of non-metals. Silicon is an example of a great conductor found in computer chips because metalloids are excellent conductors. The alkali metals found in group 1 of the periodic table are some of the most important elements needed for survival. Potassium, for example, is an alkali metal. Bananas are a great source of potassium, which is needed so that your body can function properly. The alkaline earth metals are next. Calcium, for example, is used in the body to strengthen bone density in order to keep bones strong and healthy. Milk is a great source of calcium. The 38 elements in groups 3 through 12 of the periodic table are called transition metals. The transition metals contain most of the usable metals and are both ductile and malleable. For example, gold is not only a transition metal, but is also a precious metal. The post-transition metals are considered to be poor metals because they are generally much softer and more malleable than most metals. Tin is a commonly used poor metal because it is very light while still being strong enough to make something such as tin cans for food storage. The noble gases are generally associated with the large glowing signs that can be seen in cities at night. Neon is an example of a noble gas that is used in many signs in order to make the sign glow and pop out in the night. The halogens are elements that are non-metals. These elements are found in many other compounds because they are very willing to accept electrons. Fluorine, for example, is used to make a compound that can be found in toothpaste that will help to strengthen tooth enamel. The nonmetals are generally used in many biological processes. Oxygen, for instance, is essential to life because without it, you would not be able to breathe right now. Let's take a closer look at one of these elements. The number expressed in the top left corner is the atomic number. This represents the number of electrons and protons the element contains. The number below the symbol expresses the element's atomic mass, which is the weight of all the neutrons and protons in the nucleus. Now you know the basics of the periodic table. Thank you for watching.